Today, we're fishing big worms for pond monsters. When you're throwing a bait this big, you wouldn't think you would end up with many bites. But the moment we put our baits in the water, the fish just couldn't resist it. Today, we're fishing with big worms for pond monsters. We're about to get it started. Got the boy Aiden, what's going on, man? What's up? How are you? Good, how are you? I think it's your first time on the channel. We filmed a video a while back and uh, I don't think it ever got released, but Aiden's first time on the channel. He's gonna be rocking a GoPro. But yeah, we're fishing this beautiful place that he lives by and uh, there's some really big fish in it. Yeah. He's been hyping me up about it. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I'm just so excited to come out here today. We're gonna be throwing these big worms for big bass. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into what I'm tying up here. Got the old Kicking Their Bass X Lou set up. If you guys wanna check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. I appreciate everybody for the love and support over the brand recently. You guys are awesome. But yeah, I got I got 17 pound. What, what pound test you got on? 17. 17 as well, I like it. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and... No oh, he took my worm. No way. Look at that. We're, hey, we're in this uh, after lunch bite too, guys. It is what, Aiden, 98 degrees outside? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so these fish should be eating a big worm pretty good. I think they're going to be under these trees, hopefully. Yeah, it's going to be spicy. All right, guys, I'm just putting a standard quarter ounce bullet weight, and I'm going to load up on a 5 aught extra wide gap. I have 4 aughts in here, but I actually went by Bass Pro. I picked up this little value pack of 5 aught. Just better when you're throwing a dang 12 inch worm to have a five aught than a four. You can get away with a four, but I feel a little more comfortable with a size five, you know? Rig this puppy up, tying it on with a uni knot. I thought you were about to hook set, man. You got me all pumped. I do. Are you? Oh, oh he did the same thing. Aiden over here gonna catch dang 20 pounds by the time I'm tied off. <laughs> you told me they were buying good, Aiden, but not this good. You got me pumped up. This is actually a Magnum monster here and this is just in plum aiden's throwing you're just throwing a standard old monster look at this big bad boy that's a monster right there so mine's a little upsized but i am in the front of the boat so maybe i drag this in front of them you can kind of follow up with that one you know you got it again yes sir you on board what you got Little guy. Little guy. Hey, we gotta start somewhere. Little guy. Aiden's on board here. Aiden, let's do a little, let's do a little uh, big fish challenge. We got the scale on deck. We'll do a little inner challenge with a little big worm fishing. See what we can catch. Catch us a big daddy. Them pads look saucy, dude. so much bait back here too you'd think that they would stage up all we've been having tournaments that year taking out all the small ones really uh oh that feels like a good one dude oh yeah that's a mega dude that is a monster Aiden that is a freaking monster baby come on oh my god get him in the neck Oh yeah, that's gosh, a six pounder. Dude. That's a tank. What a way to start, dude. Oh my gosh, he's a beast. Look at that, boys. Dude, that's every bit of six. <laughs> Look at how he ate it, too. That's how you know they want it. <laughs> Choke it. First fish is a dang six yonder pounder. Aiden caught it. He was like, I think we're going to get some on this bridge. Oh my gosh, what a tank, boys. All right, zeroed out. Let's see what we got going, Aiden. Barely clamp onto his big old... Come on, baby. Yes, yeah, sir. Give it to me. 6.08. That's a mega. <laughs> That's a mega, dude. Heck yeah, boys. We start off the video on a six pounder. You gotta love it. Let's get this baby back in the water. All right, baby. Thank you for biting. <laughs> that That is a way, Aiden, to start the video. And I don't think that this is gonna be the end of it. She's about to take off. Look at that. What a giant. Boy, a six pounder? The last time we came out, we didn't even get one. That was to get him. To get him. You want one? Yeah, yeah, I don't think you did. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Let's go, baby. Look 
on a shaky head. Was that a shaky? That ain't much, it still feels good, don't it? You think you get one over six eight? Oh yeah, I'm gonna catch eight pounder. That's all I wanna hear. I know you're talking about like four to five pounders, but when I hooked it, I'm like, that thing feels. He looked like one of those fish that if it was really filled out, he'd be close to eight, you know, when he was jumping. Well guys, that's a great start. Aiden's on board with a couple fish. I got me one bite, six pounder. We ain't complaining. <laughs> we ain't complaining with that. That's gonna be the story of today's video since I started off on a six. I think Aiden might might have to come in clutch with an eight, nine pounder. Let me ask you this. I think this is cool for the viewers watching too. What do you guys think? So Aiden's been throwing just the regular mag, right? Yeah. I was throwing the monster here and then you also threw a shaky head and the two bites you had were fairly smaller. What do you guys think? You think it's just the presentation? Or maybe I got lucky. <laughs> maybe I just landed right in front of his nose. That is a big boy worm. You would expect a monster bass to only eat this but i think we're going to be surprised today i think we'll get a bunch of smaller fish as well like i've caught fish that are half the size of this worm i don't even understand how they get the hook in their mouth it doesn't make any sense but it definitely happens with big worm fishing have you been to that uh that bait shop it's it's by lanier it's called dugout bait and tackle yeah yeah that's doing up there i'm not sure we got this mag grass that place is legit. I, I was amazed how much stuff they got. I don't even think I've been in there, but I know the owner. His name's Jamie. Um, dude, look at this fish running. Oh, it's another nice one. Not a big one like the last. But... A little two pounder. We'll take him. Dude, soft this little bite. You see how far he was running? That was insane. We'll take a dang two pounder all day. Look at that healthy fish. I honestly barely picked it up, guys. Just started running with it. I didn't know how far he was running until I hooked it. Here we go, boys. We're getting somewhere. A little two pounder pounder. I'll take him. Old big worm is definitely putting up the size. That two pounder ain't nothing big, but that was a healthy fish and I don't mind catching them. So guys, I'm gonna show you what I bought at Bass Pro just to kind of show our options here on different worms. I didn't get a ridiculous amount of packs, but these are just a regular old monster and green pumpkin. Then I also have, this is the Magnum, which is what I'm throwing, but just not this color. That's green pumpkin. Green pumpkin's always a good color, really wherever you go. I mean, mainly throw it in clear water, but you can even get away with throwing it in dirty water. Um, and then obviously the plum mag monster, that's what I'm throwing currently. What I caught the last two fish on and this one's actually a plum apple i didn't even notice it was different i thought i grabbed two of the same packs so the plum's like that red purplish tint to it and it's got some blue flakes so the plum apple just has a green in it they just added that to it and then the last one i got is just a regular old monster and plum as well so those are the options that we got a couple different sizes and pretty standard colors plum and green pumpkin good and slightly clear minimal stain water yeah that's all we're rocking pretty basic and we're off to a pretty good start aiden's caught a few fish i've caught a couple the six pounder was a blessing but i think we're gonna get into something bigger oh my gosh oh he's right there dude dude that is a mega you see what he ate yeah he's right there bro he just moved he's at least the size of the one i just caught and change up our worm guys just ends up breaking i wish i had some of these strike king anacondas i couldn't find any at the store something else i would have got yeah that was a mega big fish winner right there if you hook her i'll come after yours next dude what i think i was in grass sometimes you just don't risk it you know Remember boys, hook set's free. Your weights and hooks aren't free, so maybe that's a little, yeah. but you'd be hitting yourself in the face if you miss a dang eight pounder because you didn't hook set, you know? Boys, I gotta try it. I brought it out with me. A little pop and pickle. There's just too many pads to not do it. See, that seems a little aggressive, but dude, the big ones get mad at this thing. I got one. You got one already? Big No. Yeah, did you right when you cast it in? Or really? Hit on the drop. I don't know about it. Two pounder. Go. 
Ooh. What was that? Yeah, poop. <laughs> God, that didn't get. Oh, it did get in the boat. Dude, I can't cast this physically with how I've been lugging that worm. I'm like lost. I don't even know how to cast anymore. All right, this is worth a shot. We'll pick it back up here later. By the way, if you guys want to see a frog video with Aiden, let us know down below. We might have to film it. He said they've been smoking the frog pretty good. Just early morning, late afternoon, which makes sense. We might get one on it today. For right here and there. Frog bite's always exciting. All right, guys, a little update. We're just fishing this whole stretch here. Any lily pads, any little points that we can hit, any shady banks or trees pretty much putting this worm we haven't had a ton of luck in the pads yet but we had a we had a good couple we're still hunting around it's kind of hitting pretty quick covering a lot of water maybe uh right when we get around this little point this little bend up here i think we might end up having a few looks pretty saucy there's another bridge up here i think we're gonna hit maybe we can pluck another dang six seven pounder out of there That'd be legit hair is starting to heat up yeah. Another ding. I'll take it. Hey, you got you just gotta work out to him. Just that. There goes my worm. Not bad though. Nice. Oh, don't hit my line. Oh, yeah, I caught two on the near old had two birds find my line on the near. Dude, those birds are get in it, man. They sit on those big poles where those shoals are. Those big spots are weird. They're like so long, they're like tubes. They're like really like skinny. Yeah, there's definitely some butterball ones. And then you have some of them that are so long and like thick, but they're also like slender. Yeah. Good one? That's a bigger fish. There you go. It's like a, maybe a three. That's your biggest one. He's a three pounder. He's got a thick little body on him. Yeah. Aiden's on board. Ain't breaking this rod. Close to the side. Look at that fish. That's a nice one, dude. He's a bit deeper. He's off the edge of that. High two. He's thick for this time of year. <laughs> Looks like he's pre spawn. <laughs> he got a thick belly. Looks so good. Yep. Oh, oh my gosh. I think he bit my tail off. A little bit, a little piece of it. About to say that looks good. And right, right when I say that, he might bite it again. Let's see if he eats it again, guys. He was right there on the edge of that tree. Give me a second chance. Well, that might have been a small fish that bit me. Let's keep on going. That dodge. That was a nice little bite too. I can't believe he didn't have it. See now he's like, oh no, I know what you up to. He already knows. That was a nice little bite though. First frog bite today, guys. I just picked it up. Kind of looked a little juicy, a little saucy. Hard for me not to throw a frog, guys, when we see him pads. But if you guys want to see a full in-depth frog video out here, me and Aiden would definitely hit it up. Oh, this looks so juicy, dude. I'm gonna get blown up on this frog. I feel it. Oh, this looks so good. Dude, look how good this looks. How do you not get hit on a frog in that? Looks like a boil off that tree. Hey. Dude, that was insane. Oh my gosh, the boat's thing going by. And that just really happened. Well, that's one way to catch a frogfish. <laughs> that was sick, dude. That was awesome. So when I threw up there, I thought I saw some sort of weight. I guess that was him. 
Nice little two pounder. I know we're fishing big worms today, but I had to switch it up to the frog. Got a nice little fish right in this little tiny canal, dude. This is juicy looking, Aiden. Some of the spiciest, spiciest little creek I've been in in a while. How can we continue to throw big worms when we're fishing this guy? Oh my gosh, I was on the front. That's a screw, dude. Dude, that's a mega. Oh, give his butt off of here. Let's go, dude. You played that perfect, too. Heck yeah, good job, man. You kept your rod high. You rode him perfectly over those bads. I hate when they dig you down, they get stuck. Yeah, let me see that thing. Oh, about a three pounder? A little, a little shallow, yeah. That's a good fish. Good job, dude, heck yeah. You know what's crazy is I thought it was just a random blow up and then I saw you hooked that. That is a huge chunk, dude. Oh my God. Oh no my way. goodness. No way he's sitting there eating us right at our feet, dude. Oh man. We're making the most out of this. I can't believe how many fish are back here, bro. Bait, fish, yeah. ton of activity, wildlife. Hey, this kicking rod can do it, Bubba. He only a seven foot medium heavy, but he'll get him out. Look at how he ate that thing, dude. Look at that. It's on the side of his face. Listen, boys, hear me out. I know this is a big worm video, but can't. How? how dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, what do you guys think, man? Are you guys mad at Noah because he just clickbaited you? Not really. I, I see it as a bonus, man. Frog content never gets old. That was an aggressive blow up. Yeah, I think we already answered the viewers' questions. We gotta film a frog only video. That's that's gotta happen, you know. Oh, what is that? That's a gator. I thought it was a snake. It was right there, yeah, baby gator. There used to be some giants out here. They just got rid of them not too long ago. Oh, they get them out? Yeah. The pond by the marina, they've caught a 10 and a half foot out of there, like 500 pounds. What? They fish for them weird here. They get a big rod, they catch a squirrel, they get a, a dead squirrel, put it on a, a floating court. What? Let a dead squirrel out there, they flip it up. Dude, what is going on? Dude, yeah, there is a whole school. I mean, we are just on a dang tear here, boys. 100 degree day, and they back here in dirt shallow. I want to say dirt shallow, but pretty shallow. Smoking that frog, man. There's so much bait, bait back here. It's just insane, but they're loving the Strike King pop and pickle. They're smoking it. Well, that was a pretty good cove, Aiden. That was saucy. Nothing on the big worm, but multiple frog fit. How many we catch four back here? Yeah. Figure you got this like wacky rig and you throw it on a, a really light, like a 1 16th ounce uh, drop shot weight up yeah. shallow. Hold on. You see that? Yeah. I'm gonna eye fit. In the brush pop. Oh, he's got me in the he's got me in the wood. Dude, I thought you had a giant. Like you can't even move him. Got me in the sticks. He's not a bad one, he didn't know the two pounder. Get away from the troll. Yeah, I just looked down at my line, my line was just going. <laughs> just take it off. Did you even feel invited? Mm-mm. Yeah. I wasn't looking, I was looking at your frog under that tree where you wake. We started off fishing a little deeper, some of those deeper drop-offs. You wouldn't have thought that we would have came back here in 100 degrees and just started smoking them the way we are. They seem to be liking it today though. Dude, I could totally see you getting one up and off. Guys, I, I honestly think that we're in fishing heaven right now. And it just looks absurd back here. I think this is probably the juiciest thing I've fished in a long time. This thing about the dangle frog on top of the pad. That oh, looks good. Well, we said we would catch a few on a frog today. And we caught, what, four back there? That's pretty cool. Take a frog bite on a hot, clear day like this. That's what I'm saying. 100 degree weather, you'll take any bite on a frog. I've had at least one double digit miss my frog. 
Oh, the little ones tearing that thing up, are they? You might need to switch to the bag that I got. Pound and a half. Pound and a quarter. Did you ever catch any big ones in this corner? This one. Here we go. You ready? Feel it. One of us are about to get. Might have been a frog, dude. That was the oddest bite of my career. I literally feel like I, that frog grabbed it with his arm. All right, guys, we're gonna stop being stubborn and go back to the big worm. I'm throwing that frog around for a minute. Get back to this and see what we can get after. Do I have a fish? Bro, you are getting torn up, boy. Right there, that's a giant, too. <laughs> That's the biggest one all day. You might might need to weigh that one. It might be 15 ounces. Yeah. Need 15 pounds. I think I gotta change my worm, dude. Yeah, I need a little a new plum worm action here. The other one is getting a little. He had half. He had about three inches bitten off. You know. Well, Aiden knows what to do, boys. You see this? He accidentally dropped his package. He picks it up. That's what good people do. You know. I like that. You got to promote that. Keeping the bodies of water clean, guys. If you ever see, even when I'm at a body of water and I see trash, I try to pick it up if it's. You know if i can get by it but always good to pick up after yourself guys i've been to some lakes i know you probably have too aiden that you go in the back of a cove there's 50 water bottles and beer cans and yeah that ain't cool man so definitely pick up after yourself even your soft plastics throw them in the bottom of the boat or put them back in your bag that ain't good for a fish to eat you know that's one thing i like to promote just picking up after yourselves and keeping the fisheries clean keeps it better for everybody i can throw a 10xd on this and still that's the main purpose of this rod too i like to show people yeah. like you can do it like i'm throwing a frog on it that's why we came out with it you know it's versatile i can tie a chatterbait on it right now and throw the worm and throw the frog but yeah guys that's the original reason we came out with this rod is you know just versatility you can throw anything on it and i got a fish oh baby do a little dance for me now yes sir i feel like it's been a century aiden since i had a bite i feel like you've had a good couple I feel like that was probably my first bite in like an hour on the worm at least, maybe an hour and a half. Well, frog action, can't complain with that though. Nice little two pounder, close to it. Yeah, he is skinny. It's like he's thick, but he's not fat, you know? There's a difference. Thank you, buddy. Well, what I was saying, you can throw just about anything on this combo, guys. That's why we designed it, is to be a, one affordable and two versatile. So if I want to throw a frog on it, I could throw a frog on it. I might just have to give them a little bit more power. If I want to throw a 10 inch worm or 12 inch worm, I'm going to throw that. If I want to throw a chatterbait, I can throw that. Yeah, that's the main purpose of this rod. And if you guys didn't check it out at the beginning, you can check them out on kickingtheirbass.com. That's, that's where they live is on my website. If you guys ever catch any big fish on yours too, definitely email them over or shoot me a DM with them. I'll try to check as much as I can. Love to see people just catching some big fish. Dude, no, Aiden. Dude, I just I, I started to reel it and I felt him on there and then he just let it go. I'm not gonna lie, dude. That was a 14 pound. Let's <laughs> imagine though. Dang it, dude. I was sleeping. The one time I want to take a sip. This is crazy. Yeah, they are. I got on a swivel bite up there when we fished in one of the rivers from the pool. Yeah. Caught my biggest one off the rock. Wow. They're different fish. They don't, they bite they don't Oh, bite Dude, come on. Yeah, he took my tail. A little piece of it. I might be able to get him to bite again. He's right where he should have been, right off the end of them pads on that deep part. That looks so good. What? Smoke it? Uh, a little tiny, dude. I'll take him. Another little frog bass, boys. Smallest fish of the day. He had fun with it, though. Thank you, baby. Not what we want, but we'll take you anyways. 
It's always fun catching them on a frog. That bridge is pretty deep. Oh, come on, just eat it. You see my rod? Got a hook set, I'm weird under this bridge. I don't wanna slam it. Not a big one, but. Do you see how many times he was hitting that? Yeah, I had a really baby one. All right? Yeah, that's what it felt like. Look how skinny he is. All right, Boba, calm down. Calm down, baby. Yeah. Well, guys, we had to come back to the old uh, bridge where we got a little six pounder yonder. A little smaller than the one we got, but still a pretty fish. I bet it just like a bluegill. Me and my buddy, they were schooling on shad everywhere. We couldn't get them to bite a single thing. Saw like a nine plus pounder just explode, dude. It was crazy. Like out of nowhere, there's out tons of, of tons of dinks blowing up and then just one like absolute giant. Hold back here. Yeah, right here, right where the boat's at. He's running at me so hard, dude. That's not bad. That was the softest bite. That's probably the longest fish other than that big one. Long skinny. Definitely the longest. You definitely get the reward for the longest fish today, Bubba. Here you go, boys. A little skinny guy. 